It does a lot. Actually, the, the challenge that we saw earlier on when the program was beginning uh, was that uh, the capacity uh, for labs internationally, uh, speci especially in Africa, uh, to perform tests that would meet international standards was a big challenge because they didn't have the know-how, they didn't have the, 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 the knowledge of quality um, to be able to uh, run tests in a consistent manner, producing accurate results. Doctors and physicians had sort of like dis dismissed the, the lab as not being useful to uh, patient management because of uh, results which were not reliable uh, at times the results that they would actually dismiss without even looking at because the history behind what the lab was producing was something that they, would, that they wouldn't rely upon. So when we came in, our approach has been to really be able to manage these labs by way of training uh, and, and uh, a lot of awareness uh, went into it uh, where we wanted them to understand quality, the essence of quality, the background of why it is important for them to implement quality in everything that they do from the time they collect specimens to the time they release a report, a results lab report that goes to the uh, doctor for a, a, a clinical decision. So that whole cycle had to be a complete cycle from uh, the pre-examination to the post-examination of the sample that we have collected. So the, the challenge with uh, CLSI has been to make sure that these labs can be aligned to these best practices which are contained in the several documents that CLSI has developed.